Now another very important subject, very important subject regarding the philosophy of Quran and especially the philosophy of the institution of prophethood and messengerhood of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna awhayna ilayk, ilayka. Now this is the address direct to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inna awhayna ilayk. We have sent our revelations to you. Kama awhayna ila nuhin. Just as we had sent our revelations to Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, one nabiyyina min ba'dihi, and so many other prophets, to them also we sent our revelations. Wa awhayna ila Ibrahima wa Ismaila wa Ishaqa wa Yaquba wa Nasbati wa Isa wa Ayyuba wa Yunusa wa Haruna wa Sulaymana wa Atayna Dawuda Zabura. And we sent our revelations to Ibrahim, to Ismail, to Ishaq, to Yaqub and the, their progeny and e Jesus, Isa, Ayyub and Yunus, jo Jonah and wa Harun, wa Sulaiman, wa Atayna Dawood a Zabura and to David, to Dawood we gave Zabur, we gave the Psalms. So this is a special you know, mention of Psalms. Because that is also one of the books of Allah. Torah, Zabur, Injil, Quran. So because that is a special point about Hazrat Dawood, so he has been mentioned separately. Now this is like a flower pot of the names of prophets and messengers of Allah. And you will find time and again in the Quran, at different places, these names are enumerated, you know. Just like a flower plot, all these names come together. Inna awhayna ilayka kama awhayna ila nuhim wa nabiyyina min baadihi wa awhayna ila Ibrahima wa Ismaila wa Ishaqa wa Yaquba wa Lasbati wa Isa wa Ayyuba wa Yunus wa Harun wa Sulaimana wa atayna Dawood wa Zabura. Now that point which I explained already. Wa rusulan qad qasasnahum alayk. And we have sent those messengers also whom we have mentioned to you before. And there were sent other messengers also who have not been mentioned to you, O Muhammad. Now please understand this point. The names of the other messengers of Allah, prophets of Allah, if they were to be given in Quran, the knowledge of history and geography would have to be given first. If a Nabi came to China, what is China? Where is China? They, don't, they didn't know the history of China. If somebody had come in India, they didn't know the history of India. So actually in Quran, only the names of the messengers and prophets who were sent in the Middle East, this area. Because these people who were the first addressees of Quran, the Arabian peoples, they knew the history. They knew the name of Dawood and Suleiman. They knew the name of Hazrat Lut and Hazrat Saleh because they were all sent to this area in their traditions, in their literature, in their poetries. These people were mentioned. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given in Quran only the history of the messengers and prophets who were sent in this area. But principally we believe that to every region prophets were sent. وَإِن مِّن قَرْيَةٍ إِلَّا خَلَا فِيهَا نَذِيرٌ There has no, no town in which we have not sent any warner. إِن مِّن قَرْيَةٍ إِلَّا خَلَا فِيهَا نَذِيرٌ وَلِكُلِّ قَوْمٍ هَاد To every nation we sent a guidance, a guider who used to guide to the right path. وَلِكُلِّ قَوْمٍ هَاد وَإِن مِّن شَرْيَةٍ إِلَّا خَلَا فِيهَا نَذِيرٌ So to every region prophets have come. And there has been, you know, a mention in the kashf of Hazrat Ahmad Sarhandi Rahmatullah Alayh. He says that 30 prophets of Allah are buried in that region of East Punjab. East Punjab, where is Sarhand situated? Where Ahmad Sarhandi, Bujadid al Fasani Rahmatullah Alayh, is also buried. He says in the nearby region, 30 prophets of Allah are buried. Now, this can be a kashf, you know, to a Waliullah. He can know it. We can't know it, these things. But you know these people, they have those, those eyes which can pierce and see things beyond matter. They have the faculty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives it to whomsoever he likes. Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala was sitting in the mosque and delivering his khutbah. 
جما سرمن ان مدینہ اینڈ یو نو ہی سا دی بیٹل فیلڈ ان سیریا اینڈ ہی سا دیٹ ساریا رضی اللہ عنہ ہی واز کمانڈنگ دی مسلم آرمی ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم ہی واز کمیٹنگ مسٹیک اینڈ حضرت عمر ٹیلز ہم یا ساریا تو الجبل واٹ آر یو ڈوئنگ یو شوڈ گو ٹو دیئر سائڈ یو شوڈ ٹیک دی پروٹیکشن آف ماؤنٹین یو شوڈ کیپ دی ماؤنٹین بہائنڈ یو اینڈ حضرت ساریا لسن ٹو ہز وائس اوور دیئر So now today if you can convey your message from here to Pakistan through telephone or, or something, well these things could be done without these means. Now we can very easily believe in these things. Hundred years ago it was very difficult for people to believe. But today it's very easy for us to believe. By simple you know these machines and instruments if we can do it, why can't Allah do it without the machines? These things can be done. So actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been sending his messengers and prophets to every region of the world. But we can't be sure. There is an opinion that Mahatma Gautam Buddha was a Nabi. And this is the opinion of Maulana Manadir Asan Gilani Rahmatullah Alay. One of very big ulama of Indian subcontinent of this century. The beginning of this century. Manadir Asan Gilani. He is of the view that Zul Kifl who is mentioned in Quran, we know nothing about him, no details. Only twice in Quran his name appears as Zul Kifl. And he says he is Kapal Vastu Wala. Kapal Vastu. He was the prince of Kapal Vastu. Kapal Vastu ka shahzada. Kapal, pe, pe doesn't, uh, doesn't occur in Arabic. It is changed into fa. So Kapal Kafl, Zul Kifl, Kifl Wala. He is the person mentioned in Quran according to him but we can't be sure but you know we must believe that definitely in other regions also prophets of Allah have been sent messengers of Allah also came but only the names of this region were mentioned وَرُسُلًا قَدْ قَسَسْنَاهُمْ عَلَيْكَ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَرُسُلًا لَمْ نَقْسُسُمْ عَلَيْكَ وَكَلَّمَ اللَّهُ مُوسَى تَقْلِيمًا and Allah talked to Moses as it is talked Don't think it is proverbial. He talked to him directly in a direct dialogue. So that was special for Dawood, Mahatena, Dawood, Zabura. And in the next ayah, because it is something special. Even Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't have the chance to talk to Allah directly while on this earth. He had a direct conversation only on the night of ascent, night of Miraj. Not here, but it is a special point for Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam. He talked to Allah. Kallam Allahu Musa taklima. Literally, he talked. Allah talked to him directly in direct dialogue. 